We knew it was supposed to snow last night. We didn't know we were gonna get this much snow. I think we're going snow landing today. Oh man. It is now pouring rain. Did you bring a rain jacket with you to North Idaho? I don't own a rain jacket. <laughs> Guys, this is insane. Oh, it's definitely raining. <laughs> We're gonna go see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. This is giving me flashbacks to our Stuck and Stranded video. This is deep and slushy. So slushy. Winter is not over. There was some destruction last night. Oh, another one? <laughs> We're just driving in like a foot of slush and this thing is just like doing it. No problem. I just told Riley that I think we were in the clear and then we came across the corner. Big down tree. I don't think I'm driving over Alrighty. there. Alrighty. But guess what that means, guys? We get to use our winch. All right, so we've got the Jeep up here and then we've got the cable running down the hill to the tree at an angle I think that's just gonna pull it off the road and get it out of our way. This isn't our property and we don't really have a way to process this tree right now. Um, so we're just gonna get it off the road for now. Okay. Well, we'll see you in a few then. All right. All right, that tree's out of the way. Our neighbor just called and there are more trees in the way, so let's get to them. On to the next tree. When we left for our adventure this morning, I don't think we thought it was gonna be this much of an adventure. But we keep saying that, so maybe we should just expect more adventure. What are you up to, Courtney? Well, we decided to go to town to run our errands today. So I was ready to get my car out and it's a little bit less capable than the Scrum Lander. It's like kind of, we made it this far, we might as well. Luckily, um, our other neighbor has plowed this section of road and so it looks really good. All right, we made it down the hill and we are almost on pavement. And now we are on pavement and headed to town. This whole mission was to get something that we need to finish the bathroom vanity. The things we do. Our errands were done and we were successful. 
Now the question is, can we get back up our hill? We know the Snowverlander will make it, but can we make it to the Snowverlander? Is it mud? As long as there's not a neighbor coming down. Yeah. A little momentum. Yeah, it's actually really good. Nice. No problem. It has rained so much while we were in town that the foot of snow is now down to gravel. It's crazy. Isn't that crazy that the road is literally down to gravel? Yeah. Okay, guys. We we made it back to the Snowverlander. <laughs> now back up the hill. In the car. Oh gosh. Now, did any more trees fall while we were on our way to town? All righty, guys, we made it back. It's time to unload, get dried off, and then we're back to work. You guys, I think spring is here. Listen to this rain. It's funny how timing works out. We are all dry and warm. We're gonna just have a low key evening. Time for a rescue mission. Our neighbor called and he is stuck. So we are gonna go try to get him pulled out. Courtney's off-road recovery. <laughs> All righty. Back out in the, it has not stopped raining. The dogs wanted to know if they could come. You guys wanna come? Yeah? Okay, the dogs are gonna come on this mission. Got the bubba rope hooked up to the truck. And Riley's gonna give it a give it a yank. Uh hold I on. Lost my trim. You lost your trim. Okay, are you ready? Uh, ready? Ready? Yep. Almost tight. Okay, it's tight. Welcome back to Instant Pot Cooking with Riley. Tonight I'll be exploding chili. Same diva device and open the Instant Pot. It looks like, it looks like you and murdered. And now holding the lid on is the thing exploded. When we moved into our camper over a year ago, we took the only two knives we owned with us. They started the trip dull, and now they can barely even cut a bell pepper. <laughs> but seriously, they're terrible. So when Kamikoto reached out to us about trying their knives, we were stoked. The knives arrived in a heavy duty ash wood box, which I think would make a great gift. They're made with high quality Japanese steel using traditional techniques. Each one is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. And while my Instant Pot cooking might be famous to some, the real testament is that these knives are used by Michelin star chefs worldwide. Whoa, <laughs> that's really sharp. <laughs> Who knew that new knives could be so fun? <laughs> Sorry, no explosions this time. So if you're like us and have been considering upping your knife game, now's the time. Head to kamikoto.com forward slash ambition strikes and use the code ambition strikes to get $50 off your purchase. And thanks again to Kamikoto for sponsoring this video. Woo, the sun is shining for the first time today. Oh my God, I have to sneeze. <laughs> The sun is shining for the first time today in about a week and it feels so good. I think that uh, spring has sprung a little bit early and spring breakup is in full effect. Oh my gosh, that sun is warm now and bright. Things are melting off quickly around here. All right, 
with all this warm sun, we're gonna go check on our drainage. Uh-oh. I think... Um. I don't know what's going on. We got overflow. We got water oh where water is not supposed to be. How long has it been doing this? It escaped the ditch. I don't know. Somehow water appears to be flowing uphill. How is the water flowing uphill? Carefully? Whoa! Whoa. Must, yeah, I can see it flowing right here. It must be up here. the road deeper ditches that is insane look what it did to the road we just found out that they're going to be putting weight restrictions into place in our county oh my gosh that's so deep right there yeah it is holy cow the water did that in like a day yeah. Our neighbor had said we always hope for a slow melt, and I think with all this rain and then sun, I think this is the opposite of a slow melt. Um, if we hadn't put this culvert in, we would be in so much trouble right now. That hill used to be <laughs> attached up there. Luckily when it slid, it didn't just decide to shortcut this, but... It definitely rode into our, it definitely ate into our road a little bit. But the good news is that our culvert's still working. Right here. <laughs> Guys, I'm on the quicksand. The harder I try to come out, the deeper I go. I think it would be wise for you to get out of there. <laughs> <We're running. laughs> I escaped for now. Oh no! How are you getting back over How here? How do I get over that? Okay, I gotta go. I think it's time for bigger equipment. Early on in winter, we installed these ice studs into the rubber tracks on our excavator. We don't have a lot of experience running rubber track machines in the snow and the ice, but they seem to make a really big difference because we had plenty of traction all winter long. Now that the mud's here, we're pulling them out. So this entire bank behind me eroded and it's causing the runoff water to actually start eating into the road. So we're going to work on getting all that mud out of there and get our ditch back where it's supposed to be before this becomes a real problem. Our number one thing is that we don't want the water running across the face of the road right here because then I think it would be impossible for us to get in or out of our property anymore. this tree is going to be a problem. Our concern is that we've compromised the root system and if this falls while we're not here this will plug the culvert and then all of this water will be running down our entire road. So we've decided to go ahead and cut this tree down preemptively to prevent that issue.
Nice job. Another tree bites the dust. The top of the tree broke off when you hit that other tree. Oh yeah, I see a piece of it stuck up there. <laughs> All right, I am heading up the hill, but the problem is, oh, both tracks are going forward, but I'm going over there now. Okay, try again. Oh, now I'm going sideways. Up the hill. Ooh, wee! Taking the ice studs out might have been a little preemptive, but uh, we didn't want to tear up the studs or the tracks by driving them on the rocks. This is the IBC tote from our rainwater, from our runoff water collection experiment that was so successful. But we're done with it down the hill for now, so I'm hauling it back up. morning guys today's operation bust the camper out our weather is changing very quickly and we're not sure how much longer our road is going to be passable until mud season is over so we are going to bust the camper out store it at a friend's house and we have a few upcoming trips planned and we want to be able to take the camper so we're, we woke up early this morning i think the road is frozen enough that we should be able to get it out So we're on the south side of the hill right now and everything's melted off and it's nice and dry. There's tons of traction. Well, yesterday there was tons of mud. That's why we're doing this early in the morning while it's frozen still. We're a little more worried about the north side where things haven't melted off yet and it looks more like a glacier. Okay guys, this is our problem spot. We tried to work on the drainage, but uh, so slippery. Let me get into camera spot. I'm just it's, trying. Um, if you go much further, you're gonna go all the way to your knee. I did over that already. How do I get across? You might just have to walk through. Just right on the edge of the snowbank where it's frozen. You're almost there. <laughs> there you go. Crawl. <laughs> I, I have to crawl on my hands and knees. We 
good news is that water crossing cleaned my shoes off. These pruning blades for the Sawzall are awesome for this kind of stuff. They make cutting through branches so much faster. This is the spot we're both a little worried about. This is the steep, icy ester. Nice job. Thanks. We are approaching the last obstacle. We call this the mud climb. Well, we made it up the mud climb, and now we're going across where uh, we've been warned the mud gets really thick. That is a huge relief. <laughs> we were both really worried that it was just gonna be stuck up there until who summer. Knows when, you know? <laughs> I think that also moving the camper for me made me really excited to use it again. I kind of forget how awesome it is. Might be time for a road trip. Looking forward to using that camper this summer and going on some kind of epic adventures. Let us know in the comments below where you think we should take the camper next. I just heard Riley yell, I'm stuck, come help. Like pudding over here. This is something else. Oh! <laughs> I'm the mud monster. <laughs>